hour is yours, the Standard Hour. For your musical enjoyment, the Standard Oil Company of California is pleased to present tonight five of the singing stars of the Metropolitan and San Francisco Opera Companies in music from two of the world's most famous operas by Wolfgang Mozart, The Marriage of Figaro and Don Giovanni. You will hear the voices of Florence Quattararo, Nadine Connor, Charles Kuhlmann, Ezio Pinta, and Salvatore Baccalone accompanied by the San Francisco Opera Orchestra under the baton of Gaetano Merola, general director of the San Francisco Opera Association. But before we begin our musical program, we take this opportunity to greet many new listeners in the state of Utah and the surrounding Rocky Mountain area who are tonight hearing the Standard Hour for the first time through radio station KDYL in Salt Lake City. Welcome, KDYL, to the Standard Hour Network. The Standard Oil Company of California is happy to add your music-loving listeners to its audience. Among the great composers, Wolfgang Mozart was unique in his versatility. He composed all types of music masterfully. Symphonies, serenades, dances, concerti, sonatas, songs, religious music, grand opera. Among his operas are two that have been the longest of any composers in continuous performance by opera companies throughout the world. The Marriage of Figaro, composed 161 years ago, and Don Giovanni, now 160 years old. Both are undimmed by the passing of more than a century and a half. The ageless, sparkling freshness of The Marriage of Figaro is evident from the very first notes of the overture. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Standard Oil Company of California is bringing you a standard hour concert of music from two of Mozart's greatest operas, which is opened with a rendition of the overture to the marriage of Figaro by the San Francisco Opera Orchestra under the direction of Gaetano Merola. The characters of Mozart's The Marriage of Figaro were perhaps the first ever to be created to come alive through the medium of operatic music, for Mozart was the first great tonal portrait painter. And the first subject he selected to paint was Figaro, the scheming barber of Seville. In painting his musical portrait, Mozart gave to the orchestra the task of suggesting the action and setting, while the voice depicted personal character. Here, for example, is Figaro as portrayed by Ezio Pinza, sarcastically bidding farewell to the flirtatious page boy Cherubino, while the orchestral accompaniment suggests the military life that is in store for Cherubino. Play no more the part of lover, sings Figaro. Now no more at maidens glancing. There's an end to song and dancing. Cherubino, on to glory. <laughs> The character of the Countess Rosina, still in love with her philandering husband, Count Almaviva, though he has begun to tire of her, is suggested in the aria now to be sung for you by Florence Quattararo. With wounded heart and forgiving hope, she sings, Flown forever love's sunny splendor, 
Now forsaken and alone, I mourn. Ah, perhaps my constant yearning yet will win his love returning. Con quelli di tutt'anno, e tu e tu e miei, 
Countess Rosina of Mozart's The Marriage of Figaro shares with Susanna the role of heroine in the opera. Susanna enters into a plot with the Countess to expose the philandering of the Count. Though disguised as the Countess, Susanna reveals her own true character Mozart wrote for her, Oh, come my heart's delight. This aria will be sung by Nadine Connor. Thank <laughs> you. 
The excitement of the earlier part of the marriage of Figaro is suggested in this trio by the Count, the Countess, and Susanna. It is sung for you by Salvatore Baccalone, Florence Quartararo, and Nadine Connor. <laughs> the trio from Act Two of The Marriage of Figaro, we conclude the first half of tonight's Standard Hour presentation of music from two of Mozart's greatest operas. The voices you have just heard are those of Florence Quattararo, Nadine Connor, and Salvatore Baccalone. The program will continue in just 20 seconds following a brief pause for station identification. This is station KPO San Francisco. You are listening to the Standard Hour, brought to you by the Standard Oil Company of California. Following the first half of the program, in which selections from the marriage of Figaro were presented, we continue with excerpts from Mozart's Don Giovanni, the tragic comic story of the legendary great lover, Don Juan. As in the first part of this hour, you will hear the voices of Metropolitan and San Francisco opera stars Nadine Connor, Florence Quattararo, Charles Kuhlmann, Ezio Pinza, and Salvatore Baccalone. The orchestral music is being played by the San Francisco Opera Orchestra under the baton of Gaetano Merola, who will now bring you the dramatic overture to Mozart's Don Giovanni. <laughs>
contrast between the gaiety of the marriage of Figaro and the more tragic story of Don Giovanni is revealed in the overture to the latter opera by Mozart, which you have just heard. But even in Don Giovanni, the robust humor of Mozart shines forth. Salvatore Baccaloni now sings for you the famous aria Madamina from this opera, in which Leporello, servant of Don Giovanni, reads the list of the Don Conquest. Here are courtly dames and maidens, he boasts, young and handsome, old and plain, fair and slender, sweet and tender. Madamina, il catalogo è questo, delle belle che amò il padron mio, un catalogo belli e che ho fatto io, osservate, leggete com'è, osservate, leggete com'è. In Italia si sente quaranta, in Almagna due cento e trentuna, cento in Francia e Tugia novantuna, ma in Italia, ma in Italia non c'è mille specchi. Mille tre, va fra queste contadine, cameriere cittadine, va con queste baronesse, parche giù le principesse, e quando le donne gado, donne forme, donne età, donne forme, donne età. In Italia, sei sempre quaranta, in Almagna, due cento e cento, Cento in Francia, in Turchia novantuna, ma 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 in Spagna, ma ma in Spagna, con la mille tre, mille tre, mille tre, ma fra queste contadine, cameriere cittadine, ma con te se barone se marchesine, principesse, e ma donne 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 forme donne età, donne forme ma e donne età, donne forme ma e donne età. Udulla bionda, egli alluda alta, Lodar, la gretilezza, non la bruna, la cantata, la bianca, la dolcezza, col timberno la frappò. Passione predominante è 
la giovin principiante. Non fuggi, ma se sia ricca, se sia brutta, se sia bella, se sia ricca, brutta, se sia bella. Giovanni himself and Zerlina, one of his conquests, are characterized for you next by Ischio Pinza and Nadine Connor, who sing the famous duet, Give Me Thy Hand, O Fairest One. <laughs> and the aria, To My Beloved, O Hasten to Comfort Her Sad Heart.
Connor sing the song in which she begs forgiveness of her lover Mazzetto for her flirtation with Don Giovanni.
Now H.O. Pinza at Don Giovanni sings the famous serenade from out thy casement glancing, O oh, smile upon me. And now, in another of Mozart's masterful operatic songs, we hear Florence Quattararo, Ezio Pinta, and Salvatore Baccaloni in the trio, Oh Hush, Sad Heart, From Grieving, from the second act of Don Giovanni. Oh, <laughs> 
Don Giovanni, we conclude tonight's Standard Hour presentation of music from two of the world's greatest operas, both composed by Wolfgang Mozart, The Marriage of Figaro and Don Giovanni. The voices you have heard tonight are those of Nadine Connor, Florence Quattararo, Ezio Pinza, Salvatore Baccaloni, and Charles Kuhlmann. And the San Francisco Opera Orchestra has been under the direction of Gaetano Merola. We cordially invite you to tune in to the third of the Standard Oil Company of California's 1947 operatic program next Sunday evening at this same time. You will hear a Standard Hour condensation of Verdi's opera, Rigoletto, with Metropolitan and San Francisco opera stars Nadine Connor, Clara Mae Turner, Jan Pierce, and Lawrence Tibbet. Send us your comments and suggestions. Remember, this hour is yours. The 1,064th Standard Hour has come to you from the NBC studios in San Francisco and is rebroadcast by delayed transcription to the Hawaiian Islands. John Grover speaking. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. <laughs>